Hello there, Riddle 4th graders. Welcome to another video art lesson. We've been busy. Last week we made that lion. It was pretty cool. We did the Olaf. We made a Grinch. Um, today we're looking at doing a, a dragon. Another dragon. But this one's going to be a little bit more stylized. I do like dragons. I like the look and I like how a lot of times when people make an, and draw dragons, they have their own little take and they make them look very interesting to me. I'm going to start with my art card and I'm going to go with a circular oval shape you can see right here here's the middle middle of the page so somewhere up there and with that I'm gonna turn that into make a shape here for a nose nose holes I'm gonna give them two nose holes and the rest of the shape looks pretty good I'm gonna come straight up from this shape straight up and curl it like so Next, I'm going to make a little horn at the top. Oops. And then I'm going to give him little ears next. Two little ears. Give him a couple spots on his head and some eyeballs. The little eyeballs are going to be here. Maybe a little eyebrows, a couple little spots on his head. Next, I want to make a line coming down for his neck. And it's going to be three lines because his belly is going to have some shapes on it. I'm going to make this back line curl down. It's going to be his whole back. Like so. And I'm going to bring the belly lines down. Down. I'm going to make the bottom flat because he's sitting. Okay. So I might have to do a little racing here, so hopefully we make these lines light. I'm going to curl and go ahead and make his tail because I'm kind of excited about making the tail. And the tail is sitting and it just kind of curls up. Curls up, and I love the the triangle-looking tail. I love that. Love it. Next, I want to make a, an arm curling from here, and then it kind of just hangs here. And I'm going to erase the belly line behind it. Next, I'm going to make that other arm. Small arm. About the same height. It's going to come out. Come out. And then I'm going to draw a oval shape. That's his hand. Now his hand's curved and he's going to be holding something. So I'm going to draw his little claws. On both. And a flower in his hand. He's a nice little guy. Next, I want to draw his he's sitting, his back leg. Going to curve up, and there's an oval for the bottom of his leg. And I'm going to do the same here: an oval for the bottom of that leg, or his foot, bottom of his foot. I need to add some claws. There's a couple of claws. And on his tail, I'm going to make the shape just like on his belly here, this little shape here, the scales. So I'm going to do that on his tail. And it stops at his back leg. 
And on that, I'm going to draw lines for just different sections, just like there's going to be lines on his belly. I'll draw those lines now. Yeah. I'm going to put some spots on his back. I like doing groups of three. Oh, I'm going to give him wings. So in the back, I'm going to make a shape. Sticks up. I'm going to make a couple lines in it. Just a couple lines. I'm going to attach the bottom of all those lines and it'll make a wing. I'm going to make another wing. Okay. And then, believe it or not, I am ready to color. I am going to do my traditional green and mauve, or what is this called? Magenta colors for my dragons. I guess at the end of the school year, I'll see which dragon that looks the best. Because I've drawn a couple dragons already this year. You never know. I'm going to make the bottom of his belly and that bottom part of his tail the same color, I think. It's a good choice. So whenever you're coloring and stuff, you just kind of get to make it up on your own and just see what happens. You usually kind of get a feel of... You know what you're thinking, whoops. Paint. I've sharpened very good. Make the spots this color too. Inside his ears this color. Alright. Cool. Next, I'm going to use the green. Start working on green. Most of his skin is going to be this lime green color. Here, you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to make the bottom of his feet a darker green. Okay. There we go. Oops. Go out of there. Get that dark green now. Get the bottom of his feet. Maybe his paws should be yellow. Maybe that's what I'll do. There's a dark, dark green. Yeah. There it is. Add to his feet. Claws yellow. Maybe that way we can see him. We get an idea of what they are, and you know, touch the horns with yellow, but barely. Next, oop, I'll do the flower stem green so I can see it. A leaf on there, and I need a black. What's the black of these? Little nose holes, nostrils, eyeballs. Suppose I need to outline him. Yeah. Not too bad. 
Not too bad. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, that's pretty good. Go over those lines on his belly. Okay. Yeah. Well, what to do for the background? What do I do? Not some just some dark green grass, huh? Good idea. I want it to look finished. I don't want to just all of a sudden stop. I never want to do that. It's something that I look for when I'm looking for something to hang in the hall or for grading purposes. I always look to make sure that it looks looks like it's finished. I'm just gonna do my traditional clouds. Make it look like a nice day. Some blue down lightly. Try to outline the flower so it stands out. Right now, the white and the pencil just kind of fades away. The black is very bold, though. Maybe too bold, but it be better than nothing. This black. This black's toast. There he is. I like it. There's my little dragon guy. Rawr. I look forward to seeing yours. Post it so I can check it out. And I'll see you guys later.